So it's a 10 week residency running between two schools and very varied groups of children and young people. All the students came in and we gathered them around and we looked at the Arts Ward which is a qualification that they'll be doing and it's all about how they see creativity, how they take part in creativity and how they enjoy it. So at the beginning of the session we spoke briefly about what we were going to be doing, experimentation and mark making, and got them to think about how it made them feel, what were they nervous about, what they were excited about, what challenges they might have. Then we went into looking at the different ways of mark making and taking away the traditions of using your hand and drawing with uh, some materials like a pen or a pencil and building different ways to mark make. So we looked at creating our own little drawing machines. They're out of milk frothers, tape, CDs, things that you can see around the house. It's about experimenting. The children have really enjoyed the fact that it's not about being right or wrong, there's no right way of doing this, no wrong way of doing it. It's about exploring the art form and they've really taken that on board and really gone for it and the work that they've produced, I think they've actually genuinely been quite surprised by what they've produced and probably produced better results because they're not aiming for a particular thing. I think one of the risks of this um, for me as a, as a teacher is letting go so the control is no longer in my hands so um, the planning is very different to what I'm used to. We will have our, our normal warm up and then it's a session where it's completely led by the students which does come with the risks of you know what are they going to do with the tape, what they're going to do with the pens but actually having that faith and that trust in them is paying dividends. They've, they've not messed around at all, they're really focused on what they're doing and I think because we're showing that trust and that faith in them, they're doing more than they possibly would have done if I'd set the expectations for the time. What we're struggling with is ending the lesson. We're struggling to end the time because they can just carry on and on. The benefits of this for the staff at Ellesmere is it's, it's enabling us to use those skills with other groups of students. So it's actually developing our skills, developing our knowledge, and it's using um, art forms and resources that are easily available. So it's something that we can easily replicate across the school. So the benefit is, is far wider than the groups that are just taking part this year. See, I think when you're in school, obviously you have your certain lesson plans you have to stick to and you've got those boxes that you have to tick for the national curriculum. So this was so nice today as well that we weren't putting a piece of A4 paper on a table and saying, right, can you draw the house for me? Can you draw your friend sitting next to you for me? They had a completely different canvas. They had the floor for a start and they were just able to have the whole thing and see where it took them themselves. What we're trying to capture and document with this project are the moments um, that people have sort of said they're the goosebump moments um, and we term these as glow moments where there's a transformation with it with a pupil that takes them on another journey it's almost turning it's almost that light bulb moment and turning the switch on for them it opens up so much for their world um, and uh, that's what we call the glow moments Sometimes when you see a child that is non-verbal and you might not realise how much they're taking in, you discover lots of little things that are happening because you get to one-to-one -one with the children. So one of the benefits to having an external professional come in, it allows me to see how to approach art, especially in a sensory way, which is appropriate for our pupils, in ways that I could never have thought of which then enables me to have a bank of ideas and resources that I can then use in the future and or maybe put my own spin on them in some way. So we've really enjoyed all the activities that we've been able to do with our children. Um, it's meant that the children can do activities as a whole class as opposed to being um, put into sort of differentiated groups. Um, we don't often get to do that. It's really nice. The children engage in all the sensory experiences. It's sound, it's touch, it's taste, it's everything. And, they've, and we've had children that don't often like to engage in these activities that, have, that are actually now engaging, which is, which is really, really nice for us. Going into a classroom, seeing colours everywhere, bits of art scattered everywhere, children all engaged, everyone's busy, there's a lovely atmosphere, everyone's talking to each other. Yeah, it's just amazing. It's really good for the children and it's just giving them the independence that they'd not usually get. I enjoy watching the way our non-verbal students or less abled, they have through their art a way of communicating their thoughts and feelings 
and you can just see on the faces when they're when they're doing their artwork how happy it's making them and how totally into it they they, they really get. <laughs>